In this figure, ABCD is a square. In the square, DE is 5 units and BE is X units. If angle ABE is 75 degrees, find the value of X. Note that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's focus on triangle BCE. Since each interior angle of a square is 90 degrees, it follows that BCE is a right triangle, and angle EBC is 90 degrees minus 75 degrees, which is equal to 15 degrees. From trigonometric ratio, sine 15 degrees is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite of triangle BCE is EC, and the hypotenuse is X. If we plug in these values in the above equation, we will have sine 15 degrees is equal to EC over X. By cross multiplication, EC is equal to X sine 15 degrees. Also, from trigonometric ratios, cos 15 degrees is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent of triangle BCE is BC, and the hypotenuse is X. If we plug in these values in the above equation, we will have cos 15 degrees is equal to BC over X. By cross multiplication, BC will be equal to X cos 15 degrees. Now, let's observe that BC is the side length of the square. If we take Y to be the side length of the square, it follows that Y will be equal to X cos 15 degrees. Let's call this equation 1. Since the side length of squares are equal, y will also be equal to 5, plus x sine 15 degrees. Let's call this equation 2. Comparing equation 1 and equation 2, observe that the left side of both equations are equal. So, we can say that x cos 15 degrees is equal to 5, plus x sine 15 degrees. If we take x sine 15 degrees to the left side, we will have x cos 15 degrees, minus x sine 15 degrees, is equal to 5. Next, let's factor out x from the terms on the left side. Doing so will give us x into cos 15 degrees, minus sine 15 degrees is equal to 5. Next, let's divide through by cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees. Cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees will cancel out. And we are left with x is equal to 5 over cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees. Going further, let's simplify cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees. To do so, let's recall that sine theta is equal to cos 90 degrees minus theta. It follows that Sine 15 degrees is equal to cos 90 degrees minus 15 degrees. 
which is equal to cos 75 degrees. Next, we replace sine 15 degrees with cos 75 degrees. Doing so will give us cos 15 degrees minus cos 75 degrees. Also, let's recall from trigonometric identities that cos A minus cos B is equal to 2 times sine A plus B over 2 times sine B minus A over 2. Applying this identity to cos 15 degrees minus cos 75 degrees will give us cos 15 degrees minus cos 75 degrees is equal to 2 times sine 15 degrees plus 75 degrees over 2 times sine 75 degrees minus 15 degrees over 2 which is equal to 2 times sine 90 degrees over 2 times sine 60 degrees over 2 90 divided by 2 is equal to 45. 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30. So, we are left with 2 times sine 45 degrees times sine 30 degrees. Sine 45 degrees is equal to 1 over root 2. And sine 30 degrees is equal to 1 over 2. If we substitute sine 45 degrees with 1 over root 2 and sine 30 degrees with 1 over 2, we will have 2 times 1 over root 2 times 1 over 2. 2 will cancel out 2, and we are left with 1 over root 2. Hence, cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees is equal to 1 over root 2. If we replace cos 15 degrees minus sine 15 degrees with 1 over root 2, we will have x is equal to 5 divided by 1 over root 2. And this can be written as x is equal to 5 times root 2 over 1, which is equal to 5 root 2. Hence, x is equal to 5 root 2 units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.